He doesn't do a lot, but he was on, you know, he did a lot more than, the guy was a cowboy actor for years. You know, he was on Owen Marshall, also on television for playing a prosecutor, but, um, but the, uh, this is how you do these things. Internships are very important. You'd think that those people from World War II, when they came back, had paying jobs. A lot of them took internships so that they could learn a profession because uh, a lot of them had no career before they went into the military. Mm -hmm. And when they come back, you see, I, I also remember um, my father, my father had met Audie Murphy. My father said, you know, Audie Murphy said he filled out, he got to fill out his resume. He said, let's see, my resume said, uh, you know, I, I basically finished school in the military, which means I'm not educated. I, uh, I can kill people in a dozen different ways with all kinds of handguns and other things. And he said, I don't think that's done. My father said, it, we, Audie Murphy had a warped sense of humor. He said, yeah, but I can outdraw anybody. And I said, and then what happened was, is my, um, my father knew Jimmy Cagney because my, my grandmother was part of the Irish and my father was part of the, the John Ford Irish contingent. And Jimmy Cagney. Uh, had saw Audie Murphy and thought, God, this is a really good looking young Irishman. And my, my father just simply made a suggestion to Audie Murphy, Cagney is looking for a, like, an uh, intern. Mm -hmm. And he did nothing for about two or three years. Nothing. And then all of a sudden, uh, John Houston's doing Red Badge of Courage, kid. And so, um, John, let's see, Cagney sent Murphy over to Houston. He, oh, Audie Murphy, mm -hmm. Congressional Medal of Honor winner, you know, he, he said, you can kill people, can't you? And he said, yes, but can you play a coward? <laughs> yeah. And he said, you know, Murphy said a coward is a, a, a hero is the, per he, he did the line, a hero is being in the wrong place at the, the right, right time. time. And he said, then you can play a coward. So, <laughs> so, so he put Murphy in the role, but Murphy did nothing but intern for a while. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we'd have had the great Audie Murphy in, a, in, in like 30 or 40 what, classic westerns? And plus he was also in some really great heavy dramas which they really allowed him to act the actor, but that was interns. A lot of people that you see today on the big screen. On the big screen, on oh, television, television, in Congress. You know, the congressmen you like, a lot of them probably started out as a congressional so, Especially the professional politicians. The professional politicians, they started out as interns. I mean, so... Um, it's I, really kind of sad. It is sad. I mean, well, I the mean, problem is they say the internships will come back as soon as this administration is gone because people put them back in place. But for right now, the, okay, there is, okay. The, uh, the uh, okay, Here, here's the difference between a Republican in the House and Senate and a Democrat in the House and the Senate. What's that? Uh, you spell their parties differently. <laughs> no, but I mean, she's, she is an example. I'm, I'm an example of a whole family of interns. Mm -hmm. She's done it, you know, to move ahead, but I did it. I had to be an intern. I had to intern for television. I had to intern to learn some of the jobs I did in movies. I had to intern, I was a veterinarian, I had to do an internship to be a veterinarian. Well, you have to be for certain professions. I, I was a big animal intern because I dealt with, I, I, okay, they like to have me on. I also, there's a method to my madness. How are you going to, okay, Westerns were popular in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Mm -hmm. How do you manage to get on the set where there's lots of Westerns? You make yourself very useful. What could I do besides riding a horse and looking menacing? What? I could also treat the horses and animals on the set. Ah. Because I was true. a big animal. That's vet. true. You yeah. could, huh? Yeah. So, uh, so I could teach the people on the set. Okay, uh, <laughs> don't don't trust that stupid horse. You know, that I, I tell them walk up to the horse and slap him in the in the briskets because the horses have this funny sense of humor of inhaling tremendously before you put the saddle on them. Oh, they do. And then as soon as you get up, they exhale. And guess what happens with the saddle when you're on it? Uh -huh. It falls over. But uh -huh. uh, then I wasn't, you know, I wasn't afraid of the big animals. So it was, there was always a method to my madness. I interned on Is what Is that why I you was. became a vet? Because... Well, no, I actually became a vet partly because I couldn't get into medical school like I wanted. And I had a choice. You know, like the vet, I, I, I like the animals, I grew up with animals all my life.
and I never had a fear of being hurt by an animal. I mean, I, I play, well, she knows, I play rough with Monty. Monty will nick me with her teeth continually. I know, if you ask, if you ask her if you want to fight, then she goes, ah, ah, Monty ah, will ah. fight to the death with me. She'll jack me from the behind, she'll knock me into furniture. But it's the trick, if you're gonna play with an animal, you can't be afraid of the animal. I've never been afraid, I mean, example, this morning I got this huge dog in my neighborhood. The neighbors are terrified of the dog. He comes up to me, I'm petting him on the side. The animals all know. They, they know I'm not scared of being bit. They know. You know, but you can't stick your hand down the throat of a dog with, or, or, or some big thing with teeth four inches long. I don't know, I mean, but uh, no, but that's, that's partly why I interned yeah, I, and why I became, uh, I interned as a big animal vet in Hollywood. Mm. So, I mean, so, but, uh, but interns, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have lasted 68 years if I hadn't have done all of this stuff. Yeah. I mean, she's been interning since she was in a nunnery. <laughs> yeah, she had very liberal <laughs> nuns. But, I no, think but, good, huh? But, uh, but, like she should have the last word on the loss of the congressional interns, at least for the it, moment. It's really, it's really just very, very sad. And part of it is expect less service. Um, it's a whole branch, but this is one of those things that we do hope that they will come back just as soon as they can change it. Because, you know, it's it's like some other things. It's it's where tomorrow's leaders are developed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, good, bad, or indifferent, they do come from an internship. Yeah. And. I, uh, I mean, I had a lot of fun as an intern doing the things. I got to do, I got to, okay, the trick is when you become higher up on the rung, you can't do the things you were doing when you were an intern. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not respectable. I don't know what they call the word. No, but it's like, it's like interns are like trainees. It's kind of like. Well, I met, I met young Robert Redford. God, I mean, we're talking Robert Redford 60 years ago when he's, you know, wow. Yeah, when he's basically, I met Fess Parker when Fess Parker was a, a tall, you know, known as the kid over at USC. And, you know, and he was like an intern. He was really doing every crappy thing. Because he's like six foot seven, stood oh, above really? everybody, you know, weighed like 140 pounds, six foot seven. And, you know, um, I, I met Michael Connors, who was called Stretch Connors. I met a lot of people that basically started out as interns in one way or the other. They learned the craft and they expanded upon what they learned. All of them become businessmen. Every one of these performers that I met in the, when I was in, a young person learning the business all become big businessmen mm -hmm. because they learned. They not only interned as actors, they were interning in the business sections of things too so they could learn. And I, I guess I it is. It's just one of those things that's very, very sad that I'm hoping that they'll change it just as soon as they can. It's called, okay, uh, we, we actually, we, we, we're going to finish there. We're going to try to finish, finish another way. Um, while I didn't work on Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway, I did do it like in the Los Angeles theater section. Um, but um, they, they brought, Hollywood, Broadway was dying. They had totally gotten away from what was Broadway. You know, they were doing like hair and all these things that basically had an audience, but they had a psychedelic thing. They had an audience, but a very limited audience. And then somebody, they, they, they wrote, um, they, they wrote Fiddler on the Roof, and they said they needed something that was really important to stand out on the show. And they're trying to figure out, you know, they're trying yeah, to figure out how to make it like it was. Uh, you know, like old Broadway was, and then, you know, we've got it, you know, we, we no longer do anything traditional, and then tradition. Is, did tradition. that really develop from the LA It came from tradition. It came from talking about returning Broadway to what it was glory. Oh, and from that, you see, sprung almost all of the great Broadway musicals since then. Mm -hmm. It's from one song, tradition. It made people remember what made Broadway great. Tradition. They have, you want tradition? Interns on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Young actors and actresses that are basically doing everything under the sun, you know, because they want to maybe be directors. They want to be, uh, I mean, I remember Tommy Toon, who's got like six or seven Tony Awards as choreographer, as a dancer that wanted to be more. 
So he helped out everywhere he could help out. So he could be, an, so he could get up to be an assistant to the choreographer. He interned his way. He basically, he gave up his job as a frontline Broadway dancer to learn the back end of the business. Mm. That's how you do it. Without interns, they are not replacing in. They're not doing. Obama had it figured like he always does. Well, they're just going to hire these people and pay them a living union wage if we get rid of interns. No, they just didn't, they're just not replacing them. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 you know, with her it's because it just it's a rant and rave on me because I come from a family that did lots of internships. My mother did internships before. She didn't become secretary treasurer of one of the largest mm -hmm. corporations in the world without doing her internships here and there. She started you know, well, a lot of times they do that so they can figure out what they would like to do. Yeah, my mother never you know, wanted to do it. It's kind of like there's a trial for the different places. My mother was always business oriented, you know, and my, you know, from a you know, little from young age, she wanted to be something more. I mean, she got a master's degree from uh, uh, was at Columbia University in New York City, which is sort of big high power stuff. I mean, she had to leave from here to go to there, and she did it in one year. So, you know, not one year, but I'm talking first semester and second semester, she got the master's degree that quick. You know, so, but um, when she interned, when she came back, she started below where she was when she left. Oh, really? Yeah, because she was trying to move up the food chain. So she had to start all over again at the bottom of the rung in another section of the business. But she helped develop the business, it, it, you know, Basically, one major restaurant chain, one major fast food chain, a major food and pie chain, and uh, actually two fast food chains. Uh, and the restaurant industry. Restaurant industry. She helped develop the, the restaurant industry as you've known it since the 1940s. Yeah. She helped build it. So, uh, but uh, she had to intern when she came out of college. Yeah. I mean, she knows a person that basically that's been uh, unemployed for years as a lawyer that basically looking to go back to work nothing again mm -hmm. in order so he can get back in with a company. Mm -hmm. So lawyers intern folks. Yep. So interns are big deals. They really really are so let's hope that they bring them back just as soon as they can. So if you'd like more information you could always check out what else we're doing at www.montybubbles.net Wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.